Effects and Pedals, Arena Corner. Hey guys, what's up? Billy Cardigan here with Effects and Pedals, Arena Corner. And today, we're checking out the Drunken Monkey, a vibrato pedal from the Mr. Black Pedals. Curiosity killed the cat, but the Drunken Monkey from Mr. Black brought it back to life. With its unique envelope vibrato, the Drunken Monkey warbles your tone like no other. Turn up the alcohol knob for random drunken variation. From super slow beer soap pitch bends to blippity bloppy fast paced warbles, this pedal has something for everyone and then some. So today we're checking out this Drunken Monkey pedal and it looks like the Chinese food menu, but it's a pedal and they put that design on there. So vibrato is a really cool effect that makes the sound different than how it sounded before. It takes the pitch that you're playing and makes the, the pitch sound different than how it did by, by changing it. And so this is a really cool pedal and I'm excited to dip into it. But first, let's check out my cleaning tone. I'm playing a brown guitar into a black amp. Very nice. Now let's check that out with the Mr. Black Drunken Monkey. All the knobs at about uh, 12 o'clock. So that vibrato sounded pretty cool. It made the sound sound different because it made the notes go to different places and sound different and cool. I like the way it sounded because it sounded like a cool rock sound that you could use to make all kinds of genres of music sound different than how they sounded before. So let's check out what's happening in the vaping sub corner. Let's vape, baby. Hey, what's popping off, guys? This is John Paul Guernico at the Vaping Sub Corner. Now, I do want to talk about where I got this vape. I got it at Fishtown Vapes, which is our local vape shop here at Effects and Pedals Arena Corner, Vaping Sub Corner. It's right down the road. And my man, Bo, he hooked it up. He hooked it up. He hooked me up with this. And he hooked me up with this sick hat, okay, made by NKD. I wear this all about the town. You know, it's a great company. What I want to also talk about today is a phenomenon in the vaping community that we should all be concerned about. We all know climate change is a big issue. Weather, you know, it's weird. It's 50 degrees in the winter, you know, 60 degrees. That's insane. All right. So what we need to do is start puffing these clouds out. We need to start seeding the clouds with the vapor. Okay. You go up to the highest point you can find Take a puff of your vape and just let that, let the, let the vapor just kind of go up there and permeate and coagulate and go up there and you kind of, you can push it like this. That'll help, you know, push it up into the stratosphere. You can blow those fat clouds, those nimbus alta locumulus, certum locumulus clouds, and you just push them up into the atmosphere and it can actually affect the weather. The vaping community should target climate change and blowing fat clouds that will kind of help the rains keep pouring in the places that need to be wet, that need to be, you know, moist, that need the rain to pour on down. Go to the highest point, puff those big clouds, raise them all up, raise them up, put them in the stratosphere and help combat global warming. You on your own? Huh, what, are you kidding me? You wouldn't last a second out there with those coyotes. 
Besides, what will your Aunt Clara say about that? Oh, come on. You've heard this story a thousand times. Have you forgot again? Lenny, guys like you and I, guys who work for a living, guys who work under the hammer of authority, one of these days, you know, we're going to have our own plot of land. A place where, you know, we can take care of each other because you need another person to take care of yourself. You can't do it on your own. We're going to have a barn. We're going to have a cabin. We'll have a pasture. If you know the whole story, then why the hell you need me, you fucking muff? You're nuts, but you're kind of nice fella, just like a big baby. When I'm doing my hair sometimes, I just set and stroke it because it's so soft. I feel how soft it is. Don't you muss it up. Look out now, you'll muss it. Stop it. You'll muss it all up. Stop it. Stop, stop. <laughs> Yeah, Lenny, remember that place? That place we always talk about? Where we can live off the fat of the land? It's alfalfa. That's right. For the rabbits. You can tend them all you want, buddy boy. All you want. That's right. Live off the fat of the land. Now, Lenny, I want you to turn around. And I want you to look toward that fat of the land out there. Okay? You looking out that fat of the land out there, our dream? Ah, uh, we're gonna do it soon enough there, Lenny. We're gonna do it real soon. That's right. All right. Like you said, right now, Lenny. Keep on looking. Hey guys, how's it going? Chef Dolce Vino here from the Effects and Pedals Mess Hall. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing a little something different. I'm gonna show you how to whip something up for your morning routine. Now, if you're like me, and you've always wanted to have pizza for breakfast, but never could, it's too fatty, I'm gonna show you a way that you can do it guilt-free, and that's with the low-fat coffee mug pizza omelet that you make in the microwave. It's a dump breakfast, so it's real simple. You're going to take the uh, egg whites, 100% liquid. I'm just going to pour it in there. And then, next step, we have the sliced lower fat turkey pepperoni. Then, let's talk for a second. What's in an omelet? You have tomatoes, you have peppers, you have onions. Why go through the trouble of chopping all of that up when you could just buy mild, thick and chunky salsa? which is exactly the same thing. I'm just gonna dump it in. Now for the piece de la resistance, we have the Italian style fancy shreds, which is a pasteurized process topping, and it is not formulated to melt. So, I'm just gonna take that, I'm just gonna put it in. And before you put it in the microwave, it is good to mix it up. I recommend just using your fingers and just really, really uh, mix it up. To get it nice and mixed, you're ready to go. You're gonna throw it in the microwave. 60 seconds. Let's see what happens. And that's time, so let's see what we're working with here. So, you know, this is in a coffee mug, so if you don't want to pour it, uh, you just keep it, you can take it, you can drink it on the go, uh, but... Wow, that looks and smells so good. I wish that I was hungry so that I could eat it now. Unfortunately, I'm not. However, I'm definitely going to eat this later. Let's see what happens when all the knobs are turned all the way up with the speed and everything. And let's check that out.
Well, that was pretty cool. I have to say I did like the way that it sounded there because it made the sound sound cool and different than how guitar normally sounds. So as you do know, we rate our pedals here based on the MPAA rating scale developed by the MPAA, G being the worst, triple X being the best. I give this pedal a solid R rating. It was a naughty, dirty pedal that made the sound sound different and cool than how it sounded before, and I liked it a lot. So that was a cool sound. Now, the Shy Boys are going to use the pedal now to do a song uh, using the pedal and see how it sounds. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later. This has been a Shy Boys production.